Hi Cancer, here is a general look at your solar chart for October 2013 and until the 23rd the focus will be in and around the base of operations wherever that is for, for you at the moment uh, but often it's home and that's very much your thing Cancer so um, uh, the your attention will be grabbed more by what's going on you know sort of in your own backyard or within a neighborhood or community or to do with family members and family relationships as well but also your feelings will tend to be turned a little bit more inwards because of this area here and then the sun moves on the 23rd and then there's a more outgoing extrovert vibration around uh, it's emphasizing playfulness and more spontaneous fun orientated activities and it particularly highlights children young people animals and you could be feeling just lighter more spontaneous and it could put you at the center of attention it could make you feel like you know um, uh, others eyes are upon you for for whatever the reason um, and uh, they could be more uh, socializing for you and more contact with, for some of you, the entertainments or the leisure industry. Uh, Mercury is in this very creative area of your solar chart as well. So there's likely to be increased communications with youngsters uh, or because of youngsters or pets uh, or because of pets or uh, also lovers. Uh, this is a very romantic area too. Uh, which may be good news if you're looking and uh, whatever you're doing there's likely to be this feeling of more appreciation around you coming from others more enthusiasm and maybe being a little bit center stage and uh, you just enjoying playing with ideas you, you feel it's safe to start playing with ideas and maybe speculating a little bit uh, maybe a little bit wildly uh, as well on this or that or the other possibility and your creative juices tend to flow during this time and you, you become more articulate and that will help with beating the drum on something but the trickster energy is strong and uh, games or pranks may be um, played on you or maybe on your mind to play on somebody else uh, um, and you could just feel generally more relaxed and more exp expressive during this time here um, but a couple of dates to note uh, one is the 8th and 9th in fact that's two dates uh, that's when you could have um, uh, more more on your mind of a serious nature more pressure more mental pressure on you there for some reason maybe more paperwork or whatever um, um, and um, so having to be very um, clear with the way you are speaking or writing or using another form of, 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 of expression and then um, <clears throat> There is Mercury going retrograde from the 21st, which means uh, miscommunications or cross wires could be occurring um, uh, for, for whatever the reason in, in, uh, related to those areas that I've mentioned. Um, and also a, a mention of uh, Pluto and Uranus going across the sun, uh, the degree of the sun in the first week. Well, it'll be the last day of the previous month and the first four days of, of the next month, so June and July for you, Cancer. And that will sort of turn up the volume on the uh, rebelliousness, but also the, 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 um, the, the energy of disruption maybe in change of uh, Pluto and Uranus. And uh, there could be, you know, expect the unexpected uh, but also the atmosphere could be quite electric and inspirational as well. It doesn't necessarily have to turn out badly, although I would say that um, you need to um, keep a closer eye on your reactions and try to keep um, calm. Um, don't go in for any kind of impulsive risk-taking activity. Uh, because you might get yourself into a tight spot if you do, uh, but I'm sure you wouldn't. 
Um, but anyway, um, yes, just those days there, um, the, the end of the previous month and the first four days of uh, July. Now, um, Venus, Venus until the 8th, um, is in a very um, creative, spontaneous area of your solar chart to do with romance, to do with young people, but also just to do with coming more from your creative core in a freer kind of, of a way. Um, and also, you know, it definitely um, uh, increases the possibilities of, of, a, of a love uh, a relationship um, coming into your life or, or you connecting in that sort of a way with uh, someone and uh, admiring glances could be coming your way. That's been there um, uh, and since uh, about mid-September. Um, and also, uh, if it doesn't work like that, then it can work in different ways. Um, lighting up in a favourable way, anything, any interaction with young people, pets, but also hobbies, leisure pursuits, entertainments. Anything you personally find empowering and satisfying is more likely to flow more easily through your life um, at that time. And social connections may revolve around, centre around those um, areas there. And then uh, from the 8th, uh, Venus moves into an area which is more to do with uh, the to-do list, running repairs, health, that might be yours, that might be another's, and also teaming up with someone, feeling the support and help, the practical help uh, coming towards you from somebody else. And that could very likely be a female energy, uh, or it's just somebody that you're very close to. Now until the 15th, Mars is demanding you put more effort and decisiveness into getting organized on these very basic practical levels um, the piggy bank will be on your mind financial matters property matters are likely to be on your mind or any other bit of territory um, that needs a motivated decisive and energetic uh, approach uh, and that uh, so you could be quite busy trying to get things how you want them to be in these practical areas and it could also mean a more dynamic and innovative application of your talents and skills. So maybe finding different ways, you know, to, to, to apply those, uh, to, to, to even, you know, let's, let's, let's go back further, discover them, train them and apply them. Um, but overall, just being very practical and resourceful uh, is the order of the day here and making the most of what you have. But watch your step related to the basic materials, security, money, property, possessions, bits of kit. Mars can be very demanding, um, very impatient and even foot stamping. Uh, so be careful you don't come across in too assertive a way or a way which is too hasty and therefore accident prone. Um, your physical strength may be stretched and uh, as you try to get things more as you want them to be. And then from the 15th, the energy changes. Uh, Mars comes out of that area there and goes into your solar communication sector. Uh, so that means life could be pretty hectic on that in, with a social circle or with toing and froing, uh, paperwork maybe. Uh, and um, you're very much, you know, in the left brain or the dominant side of your brain anyway. If you're left-handed, it'll be the other side. But very much in the stream of information exchange and uh, mixing and mingling more uh, and maybe being out and about more but also uh, crossing swords perhaps verbally uh, with others at times so it's best to keep you cool uh, and keep lines of communications open uh, rather than wasting too much energy on somebody else's motivations or you know um, why did they they shouldn't have the, those sorts of blaming things um, but you'll start to feel more confident, you'll start to be clearer about what the objectives are, I think, and uh, there could be, um, you, could, you could be very productive and successful, particularly through speaking, writing, um, media, promotional activity, just simply speaking up and, and, and airing your views, uh, as long as you try to sort of just harness that very feisty, bolshy Mars energy so that, that that expressing yourself comes across in as diplomatic a way but and in as firm a way um, as you want it to be. 
Um, now, uh, Jupiter uh, has come into your sign, so this is very good news. It's going to be until next July, a time for you to spread your wings and uh, to get the bigger picture. Um, you could be um, re on a real growth spurt uh, during these many months, uh, Cancer, and you will be taking off um, into new things and expanding into new areas. Uh, and uh, or maybe um, capitalizing on the areas that you're already in uh, and as much through uh, those from different backgrounds and different opinions and different ways of seeing things and different approaches uh, and different belief systems uh, uh, or ways of doing from uh, do doing things as from um, uh, what, what you know already uh, and building upon what you know already so learning through doing very much so and this is a very commu communications orientated uh, planet as well so maybe putting the word out in a wider kind of way or sourcing the word to yourself if you are the student uh, but probably a little bit of, of, of both going on and uh, for some of you, that could mean more travel, more foreign uh, connections, uh, and uh, more intellectu intellectual stimulation, um, educational establishments um, could come to the picture too. So just avoid trying to trust to luck and overlooking very important details with Jupiter in your sign, and also the consequences of actions with Jupiter in your sign, because if there's one bad thing to say about Jupiter is that it, it really uh, it, it has such a far-seeing eye that it tends to trip up over the things that are right underneath its nose. Uh, you Cancerians born uh, ninth to the um, ninth tenth uh, to the 14th of July or with 18 to 22 degrees of Cancer rising going to feel this energy the most this month. Saturn is now in a very positive angle to your sun sign. It's going to be there until into 2015. And this means that um, if you pay serious nurturing and consistent attention to the creative uh, side of your life, to uh, projects which are um, maybe a bit speculative, uh, um, uh, and, um, but also innovative in some way, or into the affairs because of, should I say, because of the affairs of young people, children, um, animals, pets, or indeed a romantic uh, connection that you have. Um, if you pay that um, nurturing, consistent nurturing attention, uh, then it will pay off, uh, very much so. And also any artistic project or leisure activity or hobby or competitive or performance orientated activities um, we'll need a more disciplined methodical approach but again if you are consistent there and persistent uh, persistent that will pay off as well and you cancerians born between the 30th of june to the 6th 7th of july or with 9 to 15 degrees rising and feel this energy the most this month um, and uh, just a mention of Mars Neptune on the 18th to the 21st Mars brushes past the degree of Neptune in opposition which might lower your vitality or um, muddy the waters in some way so you're not seeing something clearly enough. Um, you could be also more open to infections or the side effects of drugs or allergies um, <clears throat> um, could come up. Um, just more sensitivity likely. Uh, so um, just um, be more protective. Uh, try not to schedule anything major for those days and uh, just let things lie until after the 21st. Um, and also, um, <clears throat> uh, just to mention also of the ongoing position of Saturn, Neptune and Jupiter, Jupiter being in your sign, but Saturn, Neptune being in the other two water signs, that's very, very good news for you. And over the, the, the long transit, or well into, uh, into, the second half of, uh, into the second half of next year, July, um, you'll learn to think bigger, get bolder um, with your life and a more enterprising. And... Um, that is it for October 2013. So if you know your rising sign or your moon sign, 
listen to the forecasts for those and also I update every month um, the, the um, positions of the outer planets and how they may be affecting your sign, which part of your sign they may be affecting. So have a look at those on my website and I'll see you the next time.